you know, that's, that's really good feedback for sure. Do you have, I mean, without going into any specific details where you, you were on a, on a case or supporting a client that, you know, maybe everything looked like it was going well in the very beginning, but then because they didn't take those necessary steps, how it, it, it maybe ended up, you know, not having the most desirable outcome or potentially caused a bigger conflict trying to get to the outcome that they needed it to be? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, one of the issues is, you know, these owners, you know, like everybody, you, everybody wants the best deal in town, yeah. but you really need to have an idea of, right, what is this contractor? You know, what's their balance sheet? You know, it, because if they don't have much of a balance sheet, um, if something goes wrong, you better hope that that damage triggers some type of insurance because, you know, first off, you want to make sure they have the right insurance. Yeah. Efficient insurance. But if insurance isn't triggered, and by the way, in Texas, triggering insurance is not a given. But if insurance is not not triggered, then you're looking solely to that general contractor or that architect's assets. And and if they don't have much of a balance sheet, I mean, I've seen multiple times where owners have just, uh, you know, they've got into a project and either during their project or afterwards, they realize that there are massive problems with the project. Mm -hmm. And everybody thinks, oh, well, that's what insurance is for. And they find out the hard way that because they didn't bring a construction uh, attorney on early on or have a construction manager, that the um, insurance is insufficient, the type of insurance is wrong, the balance sheet of the builder doesn't allow them to honor their warranty obligations. All these, these terrible things can happen. And then the owner is stuck trying to basically self-fund the repairs and the completion yeah. of the work. And it's and I, I see it happen all too often. Um, and it's it's heartbreaking because these home, these these business owners, they're typically creating these buildings, these structures to employ people, to employ That's people right. and sell a service. And now they're having trouble doing so because of this, the poor construction or poor design. Yeah. 